The Carpe Diem is really a revolutionary technology to take care of critically ill neonates and infants who have acute kidney injury, who need precise fluid and electrolyte balance. The Carpe Diem was the brainchild of Dr. Claudio Ronco in Vicenza, Italy, who is really the father of critical care nephrology. He understood through work that we've done together on international projects that there really was a gap in the care for small children. All previous machines were really made for adults and have been adapted for children. This technology allows us to take care of these children who are critically ill much more safely. He and I treated the first patient in the world together in Vicenza, Italy, and that patient survived and would not have survived without the Carpe Diem technology. We were able to publish a case report of that child in The Lancet, which is one of the top tier journals that doesn't publish single patient case reports. And then from that point on, I worked with Dr. Ronco, the company Belco, and ultimately Medtronic for over seven years to get the Carpe Diem approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration last April 2020. Benefits of the Carpe Diem technology are the following. One, the scales that put fluids into the machine that help clean the blood of the patient and remove fluid and the waste fluid are incredibly accurate. They're accurate to one gram per hour. There is no other technology that even comes close to that. Second, the blood pump is designed with a technology that is also revolutionary. It's smaller, has three rotors, so it never completely collapses the tubing. Therefore, the risk of clotting of the circuit is lower, and the machine is able to go down to much lower blood flows, as low as two to three milliliters per minute without clotting. And given this accuracy and this precision, we're able to do effective dialysis on very small patients down to two kilos without any impact on their blood pressure or heart rate. Every children's hospital will see patients like this. And so I think that now we have this available in the United States, there should be no reason that every children's hospital doesn't have one with the appropriate training and support and I think we will see great outcomes for these kids in the future.